Good morning, folks. Let's start with the Virunga region of the Congo. It, along with similarly biodiverse areas in Vietnam, are being explored and appraised by SoCo International for the purposes of resource extraction. But the current allegation is that they've been intimidating the locals and breaking various standardized guidelines. Then their website went and put a bunch of tracking cookies on my browser and that pissed me off even more. Anywho, Ison and the Swan, Swan being the French imager that was able to capture the tiny comet even shooting wide-angle shots of the galaxy. Secular light curve for that comet is still showing below average brightness, and we are still waiting for news of fracture or other dispositive event. The main low pressure is still north of most of Europe, the remaining cell feeding off what energy the Mediterranean has left from the summer scorcher. Had some tornadoes touch down in Northland, high pressure center screen still regulating rain around its location to the south. Japan and parts of South Korea are being impacted now with this typhoon, a swing to the northeast is on deck. As the main convergence moves east across the U.S., the rain atop the Rockies is about to get a rude awakening when it encounters the heat and moisture rip north along the western clockwise drive of high pressure centered in Tennessee. Sakurajima began growling yesterday afternoon. Ash has been widely reported falling on localities. Fuego woke up in Guatemala as well, with outflows and tall emissions. Solar wind, it is calm even with missing data on ACE and SOHO, we can tell there were no interesting readings at the time from the more sensitive meters. The earth facing sunspots do look to be fading with the northernmost umbras there having the best chance to mix. Meanwhile the development on the southeast incoming looks significantly more ready to rock and roll. Let's come back to flaring in a bit. As of yesterday we had the power at the far right, we had just crested onto the earth facing disk. Coming forward to this morning, we see the power bottom left, moderate power cresting now above it, and slightly weaker north-central openings facing Earth. Negative strongest at the south, positive incomer is moderate, with the Earth facing negative opening the weakest. Even without major power pushed our way, the seismic situation has become a bit more interesting. Forget the largest quakes of yesterday, they weren't impressive anyway, but we did have another North Pole shake and this, something I've never seen before off the east coast of the US. That is one of the rarest rumbles I've ever reported. Coming back to flaring as promise, let's watch for induced eruptions as another sun diving comet enters the frame. He'll be very, very bright by lunchtime in my part of the world. Let's watch his fiery dive along with SDO and Iris shots of our star to close, including one heck of a filament eruption in progress. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.55 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.